If you drive through the South Dakota countryside, you're likely to see plenty of wind farms as one of the windiest states in the nation. South Dakota is a perfect spot to produce wind energy. And good evening, everyone. I'm Sam Wright. I'm Andrea Anderson. While many farmers are happy to have wind tur turbines, many others are not. Austin Goss has our top story from the Pure Newsroom. Ask any South Dakota farmer how they feel about wind turbines, and you're likely to get a passionate answer maybe six or seven years. At that point, if we'd get a wind farm application, it's like everybody loved the wind farms uh, and the idea of that. And since that point, we've seen really a lot more division in people's opinions of, of wanting or not wanting a wind farm. Some South Dakota farmers believe that wind turbines are great ways to create green energy and make a little money on their farms. Others can't stand them. Those against them argue that they are an impediment to farmland, affect wildlife, and can make it hard to apply spray from a crop duster. Nick Nemec has one wind turbine on his roughly 6,000 acre farm. I don't mind the wind turbines. Uh, they're a great source of income. We're gonna get about $10,000 income off of one wind turbine. As you can see, it doesn't take up much ground. Uh, the, the, the footprint of a wind turbine is about like that of a rock pile in a field. There are various requirements prospective wind farms must meet before they can get approved, including property owner approval. Different counties have different rules governing how close a turbine can get to a house, and the Public Utilities Commission applies rules that prevent the noise or the light from becoming an inconvenience. Nelson says that the state has yet to completely deny a permit request for a wind farm, but the commission always tries to put affected parties' best interests up front. As the Public Utilities Commission evaluates a permit application for a large wind farm, uh, what our role is is to take the criteria that's been established by the state legislature in state law and match that up with the proposed project and what the applicant is telling us. In Harold Austin Goss, Dakota News Now.